All right, guys, I've been considering upgrading my truck. Most of you guys know that watching my channel that I purchased my truck. It's a 2022, 2020, I'm, I'm sorry, correction, 2020 Ram Laramie with a 5.7 Hemi. Beautiful truck. I have zero complaints about this truck, literally. I have zero complaints. This truck is awesome. Loaded with features, nice leather interiors, look beautiful on the outside. Rides, drives flawlessly, perfect, very nice truck. And then you guys gonna ask yourself, why the heck are you upgrading then? Still brand new, I only got a 24,000 miles on it. Well, here is my thing. This truck was a lease, I leased it and I purchased my lease and I had a very good deal uh, purchasing the lease. I have an equity in the truck. And so that being said, if I have an equity in it, right now the truck's still worth a lot of money. So now is the time to upgrade it. You sell this one, you trade this one in, and you buy something new and put the equity towards the new truck and get the money out that I paid for it. And I continue to pay for the new truck. So that way, you know, if I keep it longer, the value is gonna drop down then it's gonna be much harder to go and buy a new truck. Right now I have an equity in this truck from having a good deal on the lease. So if I trade it in right now, I can get the new truck and my payment gonna be very low and I'm gonna be enjoying a new truck. So that's the whole theory behind it. That's what I wanted to upgrade. And also another thing that I've been, uh, that I've been looking and into is um, uh, the truck that I'm able to buy right now. It's a uh, flat out, I'm gonna tell you guys, it's a, uh, GMC Sierra 1500. I'm still debating whether to get the 84 off-road version or just SLT model, which is a SLT is like a is like a Ram Lariat in that uh, that ca category. Okay, so the way I spec that out with the features I like that, that I'm having in this truck right now, it's gonna be around 62,000 bucks, but I'm really debating, here is my big dilemma right now. Maybe some of you guys can help me out with this. My big dilemma is, do I get the 6.2 Corvette V8 engine in the truck, or do I get the 3.0 straight six diesel? I know what you're gonna think, you know, the V8 is gonna have a lot more power, yeah. Guys, but believe me, I took for a test drive uh, a GMC truck with that straight six diesel. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's nowhere near as powerful as this Hemi or that 6.2. It got a lot of torque. It's got a 460 foot pounds of torque right at 1500 RPM. It's powerful of the get-go. But then once you get, get rolling, you know, there is nowhere near as powerful these uh, gasoline engines. But it does, gets the job done, don't get me wrong, especially in a slow moving traffic like this, it gets the job done very nicely. Very smooth power delivery and it, it feels okay. Only power it lacks when you're on a freeway and if you try to pass somebody, you put your foot down and there is almost nothing there. That's annoying. You know, this Hemi, you do an 80 miles an hour, you stab it, I mean, before you know, you hit the limiter at 105. You know, it runs very strong. That diesel is not like that, but for a slow, like this stop and go traffic, the diesel does fantastic job. It's very torquey off the line. And the best part of it is guys, that truck, like with this one, I'm getting about, about 16 miles to the gallon, going back and forth to work in this kind of condition. That truck gonna be 22 plus miles to the gallon with that diesel. On the freeway, cruising 70 miles an hour, that truck hitting 30 miles to the gallon which is awesome it's very nice you know you can't complain about it on the other hand for some of you guys that know me and know how much i love the v8 passing the opportunity not to get that 6.2 liter corvette engine in that truck that's oh man one day i wake up and i should get that v8 you know and one day man maybe i should get the diesel you know it still gets the job done it's a nice truck runs good get a great gas mileage but i hate to pass the opportunity not to get that v8 so right now that's what's stopping me right now from going and ordering truck one like that 
and I'm still debating between SLT and 84, but I'm really that engine, I don't know what the pick guys, I'm in a big dilemma about that, going back and forth between that diesel and that 6.2, diesel or 6.2, it, it drive me nuts. One thing I have to add that I don't really like about that 6.2 liter engine is uh, those engines are direct injection. Uh, do a little research and find out for yourself the direct injection engines. Uh, this means the, the, the fuel is delivered, it's injected right into the combustion chamber and the uh, intake valves are getting very cluttered out with a, with a sot. They are, they are getting dirty very fast. You know, it's not like this ram is not a direct injection. It, the fuel is injected into the ports on an intake manifold and actually it's washing down the valves and they stay, stay nice and clean. And those direct injection engines, oh my God, they got a big problem with that. Um, those valves are getting very dirty. That's the one thing I don't like about that engine, tell you the truth, but other than that, I have taste driven few of those trucks with that 6.2 man that engine rips i mean they, they run very it's a 6.2 corvette engine it runs like hell very nice motor apart from the direct injection but also like i said i taste drove the diesel and that diesel gets the job done very nicely and the smoothness and power delivery of the diesel is it's totally different animal you know you can almost not compare the two together you know what i mean but it's pleasant to drive the diesel it's a very nice little three liter straight six it delivers the power excellent so i'm in a big dilemma about that right now i really like to trade in this truck right now and get the money out of it and get something newer but i don't know what better i should get that 6.2 or i should get that diesel drives me insane but um, yeah, I'm gonna spend a little time, a little more research, a little more reading. Maybe I'm gonna go and test drive one more time and hopefully I'm gonna make up my mind soon and get uh, one of those trucks on order. And uh, yeah, that's the plan right now, but we'll see what happens. You never know what tomorrow gonna bring, right? Especially in nowadays age, things are changing and moving so fast. It's crazy. Okay guys, I'm gonna leave you with that. Thank you very much for watching and please, like comment give me a suggestion of what do you think if you have an experience with this this especially with the diesel engine if you have one if you have an experience with it comment down below give me your two cents what do you think about that engine or if you have that 6.2 also give me your two cents on that see what do you think about that engine you have any problems and what not uh, help me out here okay thank you very much again for watching i will see you soon with another video have a good one bye bye